All right, Nick, let's talk about the Nebraska Cornhuskers, an exciting offseason. Matt Rule really building this team really smart. And I think the one thing that everybody is excited about is new quarterback Dylan Raiola. But Matt Rule has given us an exciting update on how exactly they're going to use him this season. I think it's something that Cornhusker fans will love. I'm Andrew, and this is Saturday Morning Inspection. And right, as I was alluding to, Matt Rule, exciting update on how they're going to use Dylan Raiola and really not limit him whatsoever going into the first game of the season. Let's get on into the article and we can talk more about all of this on the other side. Uh, this is from over on Clutch Points. It says, it's no secret that Nebraska football program has loved the way Dylan Raiola composed himself throughout training camp. However, there's only ever been one other quarterback in Cornhusker history who started in a season opener despite being a true freshman. This bit of information held true until recently when the young quarterback requested to break curfew. Now he will be the main signal caller when they face the UTEP Miners. How did Coach Rule feel about this? Well, he's nothing short of excited and will even form his whole offensive strategy around making the freshman the next star that scouts could look for were to drafting. Via Sam McEwen of Omaha World Herald, he said, we're not going to ease into it. We're going to play. Dylan's going to play, and he's going to play the plays. When we call drop back, he's going to go back there, take his drop, work his progression, how we want him to play as a junior. We're going to start day one that way, he declared. This is very interesting. It's saying, Rule, he's not going to baby Dylan Raiola. The same way they want him to play three years from now is what they're wanting from him day one, week one, as soon as he hits the field against Utah. I think this is a really interesting thought. I'm curious what your thoughts on this one are, Nick. But, Cornusker fans, in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on how Matt Rule is attacking this situation with Dylan Raiola? Do you think it's too early? Do you think he's ready? Do you think he's going to take it on? Let us know what your thoughts are and how you feel like Dylan Raiola is going to perform in this first game against UTEP. Let us know in the comment section below. But Nick, what are your thoughts on how Matt Rule is treating the Dylan Raiola situation? Look, I think it's just the latest really smart move by head coach Matt Rule in terms of just how he handles this roster and how he handles this rebuild. And obviously Matt Rule is a turnaround artist. We've talked about that a lot. He's made a whole career out of turning programs that were struggling, not living up to expectations and taking them to the top of their conferences. And this is exactly how. It's sort of one of those underrated stories in football, whether professional or college, where a team's trying to turn around. Sometimes coaches will simplify things, simplify schemes for young quarterbacks, allow things to be a little easier to process, and they'll overperform expectations, but they'll define a really hard ceiling level of performance. You see this all the time, like in the National Football League, Look at the New York Giants with their quarterback, Daniel Jones, for example. They one year, young guy, kept the system very, very simple, really restricted, made it very easy for him. They made the playoffs. They even won a playoff game. But after that, teams got film on him, figured out how to play that system. Daniel Jones didn't grow, didn't become a better player, and the Giants were terrible last year, and they're kind of not looking so good so far this year. You see a similar dynamic happen all the time in the college and the pros, right? You have got to unleash the quarterback you have, even if he's a freshman now, to let him grow into his ceiling. Even if there's going to be turnovers, even if there's going to be bad plays, even if there's going to be ugly sacks and three and outs, in order to achieve the elite, elite, elite talent that Dylan Raiola has and the potential he will bring to the Nebraska Cornhuskers, you have to give him that ceiling to strive too and that's exactly what Matt Rule is doing here I love this decision I was honestly a little nervous that they were going to keep things kind of simple right they're going to really keep it kind of vanilla offense make it really easy for Raiola a lot of bootlegs quick check downs things like that I'm glad they're allowing the entire offense to run as if he was a junior I think that's the right move to make allow him to achieve the ceiling that they think he will get and also allow the players around him to grow too, right? When you keep things under a very simplistic offense, sometimes it not only hurts the quarterback, it can hurt the offensive linemen, the receivers, running backs, tight ends. It can hurt everybody in the infrastructure around the quarterback by opening things up for Raiola, uh, allowing him to achieve his ceiling. It will open up everything else for the other players around him as well. Once again, really smart move by coach Matt rule. It means there'll be some early hiccups. UTEP may look uglier, but guess what? By the end of the season and beyond, they will be a very powerful force on offense. And again, I like the point you brought up about just how, you know, they're not holding back. This is going to be a little bit more complicated, but I think in doing so, it shows that Matt rule, well, it shows Dylan Raiola 
that Matt Rule has complete confidence in him. He thinks he knows what talent that he brings to the table because everybody and their mother knows that Dylan Raiola is one of the best, if not the best, signal caller in this entire you know freshman class. This guy is supremely talented. He's supposed to be able to do everything. He thinks he can do everything. Obviously, you got to have that kind of mentality when you're that highly touted of a prospect. You want to have the confidence. So for your coach to come out and say, hey, I believe in you too. Here, here's the keys to the offense. We're not holding anything back. We're going to do things right now as we would three years from now. I think that helps build Dylan Ryle's confidence. As you said, probably a little bit of hiccups early on. It is UTEP though. You should be able to win that game with a couple of hiccups as well. So, but I think overall the strategy is sound. Matt Rule wants to be the developmental powerhouse of all of college football. How do you develop players other than give them difficult opportunities? If you keep taking the same test over and over again, and it's a test you know you can pass day in and day out, like you said, you're not going to get any better. You have to put the hard problems out there. And for Matt Rule to do that from day one, I think we're going to see Dylan Raiola develop into a very good quarterback. You know, there's a saying, right? There's no room for growth in the comfort zone, right? I think that's exactly what we're seeing here, right? If you want Dylan Raiola to grow, sometimes he's going to get out of his comfort zone a little bit, see what he's willing to do, see what he's willing to see what he can't do. Again, great leadership by Matt Rule, great leadership by his entire coaching staff. And again, short-term headaches for long-term success. It's all part of the rebuild for Nebraska.